bitch. Too bitch. Welcome back, everyone. It's Charlie. John Bernthal and Marvel just teased Punisher returning during Daredevil Born Again Season 1, so we'll break it all down. There's a bunch of stuff we already know about the series and what Punisher is doing during Season 1. They just use the Echo Post credit scene to set up what's going to be happening when that picks up. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to get all the episodes. Of course, I'll be doing episode videos when the Daredevil series starts. They just started filming Season 1 again. But right after the Echo series premiered last week as of me posting this video, John Bernthal spoke about the Punisher coming back in Daredevil Born Again. He said, I think there's a reason why that character has resonated as deeply and as strongly as he has in the hearts and minds of comic book fans, first responders, people in the military, people all over the globe. I think there's a little Frank Castle in everybody. He exists very strongly inside me, and I care about that character deeply. I also know that it's absolutely essential that we do it, we do it right, and we have real sacred integrity to the source material and to what is at the core of Frank. And you know how Marvel is, I really can't say anything anyway, but I care about Frank deeply, and no matter how much Frank grows, he's always going to be the same. His comments there about there being a little Frank Castle and everyone is a bit of a reference back to his original Daredevil season two episodes on Netflix and his whole conversation with Daredevil telling him he was one bad day away from being him. Like the Punisher is what everybody turns into on their bad days. And a big part of him coming back was making sure they did a banger job with the character in the new episodes. Like if we're going to bring him back, let's bring him back right. One of the other funny things, too, that happened last year, you might have spotted this, but it was a bit of a blink and you miss it kind of moment, but it's still up on his page. Early last year in 2023, right before they were getting ready to film the brand new Daredevil Born Again episodes, like the first version of the show before they rebooted everything, he basically revealed that he was coming back like, oh, the Punisher has returned. Like, oh, you're definitely coming back. I can't play this video on my feed completely just because there's a lot of copyrighted music on it, but it is the soundtrack for the Punisher series playing on it as he comes back in. If you haven't seen my other Daredevil Born Again videos, I talk about how Kevin Feige rebooted the new show, Daredevil Born Again, last year. He fired the old writers, hired the showrunner from John Bernthal's Punisher Netflix series and the Loki writers to redo the whole show. So what a big surprise, Punisher coming back and the Punisher showrunner is coming back. I found out yesterday that the Punisher was happening again. So I feel like it's my second chance because it was the only one of the shows that I wasn't in and I love John Bernthal. <laughs> So let's all make it happen collectively, guys. <laughs> Be so happy to bring Clark Temple, nice night nurse back, for sure. What they changed, though, about the original version of Daredevil Born Again, they'd already shot about six episodes, so they're still using that material and just kind of reworking that. But the Punisher showrunner completely did a brand new episode one, then filmed two additional episodes to finish the first half of season one, and they just went back to film the rest of season one, and it's meant to be full 18 episodes. I think what they're going to be doing is just breaking season one into two halves, the way the broadcast television used to work, like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. We've been talking about them canonizing all the old shows. There used to be a mid-season break in the middle of these like 20-episode Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. seasons. Speaking of which, Marvel also just canonized all the Marvel Defenders Netflix series to the MCU, clarifying that whole question. Some of you probably always considered the Netflix stuff to be canon to the MCU because of the way they made references, but on a technical level, it was always a bit of a question mark, and the people who actually made the Echo series actually addressed this. Up until this point, We've been a little bit cagey about what's sacred timeline, what's not sacred timeline. That was that was born of, frankly, a period at the studio where we were like, we have to stick the landing with Avengers. Sure. You know, we it was it was another part of the company developing the Netflix stuff. We were aware of what they were doing. They were aware of what we were doing, but it it, it was it was a, it was it was a lot. Sure. It was a lot to balance anyway. But now that. You know, some time has passed. Now that we see how actually how well integrated the stories are, we would be confident in saying it is part of the sacred time. They basically said that when they were making the Echo series, they treated all the Marvel Netflix stuff like it was canon. Then right after that interview aired, Marvel just put all the Netflix Defender series into the proper place in the MCU timeline between all the movies and the shows. The way that all the producers who are making all these shows, like Kevin Feige, all those people talked about it, 99% of all that Marvel Netflix stuff is canon. They might change a couple things. There might be a couple recastings as they're bringing people back because of availability issues. But for the most part, 
pretty much everything that happened on the Marvel Netflix Defenders series is canon to what's happening in the new stuff. So when the Punisher comes back during Daredevil Born Again Season 1, it'll be the same version of the character who just got done with Punisher Season 2, Season 1, Daredevil Season 2. See you around, Red. Now remember, the events of Punisher Season 2 take place several years ago inside the MCU. In the present day MCU, it's meant to be 2026 when Daredevil Born Again is picking up. The Echo series is pretty much a prequel to Daredevil Born Again. That still takes place in 2025. During Echo, they revealed that neither Daredevil nor Kingpin got snapped. They were around for the entire five-year time jump. It might also be the case that Punisher did not get snapped either. So he also did his full Ronin during that five-year time jump, just going around killing as many really bad people as possible. To be fair though, even though they treated it like it was a really big twist for the Hawkeye character, like he became Ronin went super dark, in reality, that's just another day for the Punisher. Like, the Punisher does stuff like that all the time, just on a normal day. And I know there's a lot of follow-up questions of that now, too. Like, well, if this five-year time jump, half people got snapped, there's not a lot of people running around New York City, for example. Does that mean that all those characters, like Punisher, Daredevil, Hawkeye, Ronin, also ran into each other at that same time? Like, did they become bros during that period? My assumption right now, without more details from Marvel, is that they did run into each other, but they're not like super close bros, like they're not super best friends, just because what they were doing was so hardcore, and it doesn't sound like Hawkeye Ronan spent a lot of time making friends, quote unquote, during the five year time jump, like he was busy. Don't have time to hang out and have drinks with people, gotta go kill some other people on the other side of the planet. It sounds like though Daredevil Punisher stayed pretty local to New York City though. And while they were doing all that, Kingpin was busy rebuilding his power base. Like during the Echo series, they show him during the five-year time jump, the cops are already super afraid of him and basically let him do whatever he wants to do. Like he walks right through them, grabs Echo, then pulls her like, no, no, there's no way you're arresting her. I'm going to take her. Meaning that when this is taking place, he'd already been in prison after the end of Daredevil season three and been out of prison and seems like he'd rebuilt a lot of his power base. I just did a video about them bringing back Foggy Nelson and Karen Page in a much bigger way in this newer version of Daredevil Born Again that they're redoing. Even in the old version, when they were going to have killed them off before the events of Episode 1 or some point during the events of Episode 1, everybody was really pissed off about that, Punisher was still meant to come back and be a big character during Season 1. They just weren't doing a lot of Foggy Nelson and Karen Page. It was actually their storyline that probably changed the most in this new version of the show. Like, even the old showrunners that were originally working on the series were going to bring Punisher back for a big storyline. It's not just meant to be a simple cameo or anything like that. Like, hey, I'm the Punisher. Remember me from the Netflix series? It's actually meant to be a substantial storyline. I don't know if it's just going to be for the first half of the season, like those first nine episodes, or if it'll be all 18 episodes, because there are a bunch of other characters that they're bringing onto the series. Even though Kingpin is always going to be the main antagonist in a bigger sense, the actual main villain when the show picks up is supposed to be the Muse character from the more recent Daredevil comics. He's a relatively new villain they just introduced. And because of the events of the Marvel Netflix series, Daredevil is not fighting Punisher or anything like that. Like, they're not each other's antagonists. White Tiger is also supposed to show up at some point during Season 1. Not exactly sure when that's going to happen. And the only other Marvel Netflix Defender character that I know was supposed to show up during season one was supposed to be Jessica Jones. Now, I don't know exactly when that's going to be. There was some scheduling issues they had, but that was last year when they were filming the original version of the show before they rebooted everything. Jessica Jones was meant to have a much bigger storyline. They were supposed to tease her during the Echo series, so there was obviously a lot of stuff that changed. But the actress Kristen Ritter was teasing coming back in the new Marvel MCU stuff. The only things we know right now about Punisher's storyline during season one is that when episode one picks up, he's supposed to be taking down corrupt cops. And I think there was an aspect where they were borrowing some details from real life in the corrupt cops were using his Punisher symbol, doing all kinds of shady stuff, killing innocent people. The way that this crosses over with the bigger storyline in Daredevil Born Again is the whole mayor kingpin of it all. So during the Echo post credit scene, they tease that kingpin gets the idea to run for mayor of New York City. Like they make all these boxing references, like hardcore brawling MMA references, just teasing the upcoming conflict he's going to have with Daredevil. But also Kingpin is a prize fighter in the comics too. Supposedly when episode one picks up, Kingpin will have already become mayor. Like there'll be a small time jump. Like we're talking about 2026 inside the MCU. 
And part of what he does is running for mayor on an anti-vigilante campaign, secretly using that to get rid of characters like Punisher, Daredevil, Spider-Man, for instance. We've been talking about Kingpin going up against Spider-Man and Spider-Man 4. Pretty much all of the actors like Tom Holland, Charlie Cox have been teasing Daredevil, Spider-Man team up. But you can kind of see the direction this is headed. So Punisher trying to take out corrupt cops and typical Kingpin trying to spin things but secretly trying to get rid of them, making it seem like Punisher is just trying to kill regular cops. Like, oh, this is really bad. We need to stop him from doing this. If you haven't watched those original Daredevil Netflix episodes a lot, Kingpin actually did stuff like this all the time on that show. Like, even back as early as season one, he was trying to discredit Daredevil, for instance, and then eventually Punisher, by basically lying in the press and just making it seem like spinning things Vought style, like we're making more boys references, basically just telling the public whatever it took to get them to believe that Daredevil, Punisher, these other characters were actually the real villains and he was the hero. It's meant to usher in this sort of Marvel Phase 5 Dark Reign era inside the MCU. It's also happening on a national scale because Thunderbolt Ross is supposed to become president of the United States. So what's happening in New York City with Kingpin becoming mayor is just like a smaller version of that. There's a bunch of big stuff coming up. We're supposed to get a Deadpool 3 trailer at the Super Bowl pretty soon. So of course I'll do videos for everything as quickly as possible. We also just found out about a Star Wars What If series. So we'll try to do a video for that at some point this week too. Be sure to enable alerts for my channel so you don't miss anything. Click here for that brand new Deadpool 3 teaser trailer and click here for that Daredevil Born Again teaser. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.